do this one thing and get everything else wrong and you're still going to get the respect that you want and deserve at work. If you wanna be respected no matter what at work, you need to. Hello and welcome back to my channel where I help you slay your career and cultivate the successful life you deserve. <laughs> and buckle up for today because this is not gonna be your typical video on how to get respect at work. If you want the generic canned, oh, just respect other people and they're gonna respect you, go elsewhere because all of that information is designed for the corporate chad. Those rules don't apply when you're not chad. Today's video is for all of the non-chads in the world on how to gain respect at work for real, the hard truths that you maybe don't wanna hear but really need to hear in order to earn more respect at work. I highly recommend that you get a copy, maybe even a notebook for this one. And if you're ready to learn how to gain respect at work, tap that like button and let's get into it. The first thing that we need to talk about is, let's just talk about that elephant in the room, shall we? The first thing that you need to do to gain respect at work is to make sure that you are somewhere that you actually can be respected. Nope, not gonna sugarcoat this one and tell you that it's all about mindset and doing the right things and blah, 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 blah. No, sometimes you are just in a toxic, hostile workplace and the only answer is for you to actually get out of there. You need to figure out if the company that you're at is one of those toxic workplaces where it's not going to be possible for you or people like you to get respect. Whether you're a woman, you're a black indigenous person of color, you pray to a different God, love someone that makes them uncomfortable, whatever it is the reason for the discrimination, it's time for you to move on. What I don't want you to do is continue and implement all of the tips that I'm about to share when it's really bashing your head against a wall because getting respect where you're at is not possible in the first place. I know this is a hard question to ask. I have a video that can help you answer if it's a toxic workplace where it's just not gonna happen. I think you probably in your gut already know the answer, but you can also look around to see if there's a pattern or get help from a friend, a family member, or a career coach like myself to help you figure out if it's a place and if you change your setting, if that's gonna be the fix for the problem. And I don't mean to like plug myself here. I just, honestly, I really wanna help you out. Now, if your company is not a hostile workplace, it's somewhere where you know you can gain respect, I want you to move into the next step, which is to figure out what you want people to respect about you. Okay, maybe this is a little bit pessimistic, but I want you to think about it this way. Have you ever met someone that you didn't really Really necessarily like but you had a heck of a lot of respect for them no matter what and it's like yeah I don't like this person but I really respect this about them like what's the this for you does that make any sense at all I hope it does also I really want you to disconnect likability from respect there are two different things and this is one of the double binds that a lot of women at work experience because their likability is something that is scrutinized and it seems to be unfairly tied with respect when you actually know what you want to be respected for, it's going to allow you to intentionally cultivate it. And it's going to bring us into the next tip to gain respect at work. And this one quite honestly is like a bypass. Do this one thing and get everything else wrong and you're still going to get the respect that you want and deserve at work. If you wanna be respected no matter what at work, you need to build your authority. All right, there's two types of authority that you can have at work. There's hierarchical authority where like you're the boss or you're the supervisor, so you're given authority over other people. Or there's authority because you're an expert. You're the person that people are going to turn to when they need a solution, answers, advice, on a particular thing. Now the latter where your authority is through expertise can be done at any level, at any stage in your career. You don't have to be like super duper expert status in order for this to work for you. And the cool thing about this is when you're actually bypassing the whole hierarchical thing, it's actually staging you to be a leader at work, which is if you're someone who's trying to grow their career where you really wanna be. If this is a topic that you do wanna dive into, I have a video that I would love for you to check out after this one that I'm gonna link in the comments down below. And you can see how authority and knowing what you wanna be respected for really go hand in hand because in more cases than not, they really converge and end up being the same thing. And when you double down and you know what you wanna be respected for, what you wanna be an authority in, and really what you wanna stand out for, it makes it a lot easier for you to implement the next tip to gain respect at work. And that is to stop saying yes to everything. First of all, saying yes to everything from taking a note in a meeting to, to taking on a whole slew of extra tasks 
at the last minute because your lazy coworker completely dropped the ball is not the things that get you ahead of work. The hard truth is these are the things that make people think of you as a doormat. And despite the fact that some of them are ridiculously cute, we don't generally respect doormats, do we? Remember that every time that you say yes to something else, you are by de facto saying no to other things. And often what you're saying no to are the things that are actually really important that build your authority and are the things that are going to help you build respect at work. If you're interested in a video on how to say no at work without having people hate you for it, let me know in the comments down below. The next tip that I have for you to gain respect at work is really, it's a little bit of a bigger one. So this might take a couple minutes for me to explain, but really it comes down to presence. You know, the fake until you make a crowd, this is probably what they're actually talking about. When you have a presence that is commanding, people are going to be more likely to listen to you and to respect you at work. I can make a whole video on this, but let me give you a couple of tips and hacks that you can implement today as immediate respect boosters at work. First things first, posture. And it's not just good for, you know, your back and stuff like that. It's actually the way that people perceive you. Make sure that you're sitting up straight when you're sitting in a chair, you're standing up straight, whichever one you're doing, hold your head high and shoulders are back. With this as well, and this is something that men are really good at, you know, the man spreading thing. Okay, you can do like the femme spread thing, all right? So take as much space as you can. One of the things that a lot of women tend to do is we, we tend to physically minimize ourselves, which kind of psychologically minimizes us to other people as well. Even right now, if you could see like below where the camera's hitting, I'm sitting with my legs crossed. However, doing things like holding our hands out, you know, putting your notebook all over the place, like so many dudes tend to do. And even when you're meeting on a Zoom, taking up the space is a power stance. Another easy one that you can do if you're not doing already is to maintain eye contact. I know a lot of us are working remotely right now and really eye contact is actually with the camera. So you're not staring down at your screen at the person to maintain eye contact with a lens as much as possible because on the other side of that, that is how they are perceiving eye contact. I know there's a lot of books and research about different vocal tactics and one of the things, especially if you're a woman, you're going to hear a lot about things like not using up talk and vocal fry and things like that. And I, I totally, I get it. I do get it. Honestly, I do. But I also speak like a valley girl, but I honestly believe that scrutinizing the way that women speak and using it as an excuse for them to not be heard is actually just making them uncomfortable for other people's comfort. But no matter what vocal tactics you're using, the most important thing about the way that you speak is that you speak with confidence. And this brings me directly into my next tip, which is to actually build your own self-confidence. This is the most crucial thing across your career, not only in gaining respect, but in getting opportunities, establishing effective relationships. This shows up in so many ways. The biggest investment and the highest ROI that you will make in yourself is building your own confidence. I do have a couple of books that I've linked down below that I think are really, really helpful in helping you learn how to boost your own self-confidence and self-worth. I also do have some videos planned on this exact topic. So if this is something that you have been paying attention to, I would love for you to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss them. And that brings me into the final tip before the bonus tip, at least on how to gain respect at work and that is to actually ask for help. One of the biggest mistakes that I see ambitious professionals make is that they think that they have to do it all on their own. They have to have all of the answers that they can't get help from anyone else. When really the most successful people have a team of mentors and advisors and people that are helping them out. If you take just one thing away from this video, I want it to be this. Success is not solitary. You don't have to do this on your own. And in fact, having a support system is going to be what truly accelerates your career. And this is something that I would be honored to help you with. I would love to be your mentor, not just here on YouTube, but also beyond. And one of the ways I'm doing that is I'm creating a brand new workshop on how to glow up your career. If that is something that is interesting to you, I would love for you to check it out. The link is going to be in the comments down below. The greatest thing about when you're asking for help is it's also allowing you to pay it forward. You're showing someone that you respect their opinions, their thoughts, and their expertise when you actually ask for help. Not only is that going to help them know how much you respect them, but it's also going to help you establish a more effective relationship with them. And that brings me into my bonus tip for you. If you're trying to grow the amount of respect that you get at work, one of the fastest ways to do that is to start stepping into the leadership role. And I mentioned this earlier, so I want you to go and check out this video right now so that you're staging 
positioning yourself as a leader at work. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. For more of the best career success advice on the www, make sure you click the subscription button and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.